Hello and welcome to my channel Book Hangover. My name is Marta and I like books. I know that it's a little bit late to do sum up of January, but I still want to share my opinion on a few books that I have read this previous month. <laughs> so, as I mentioned in my previous video, I had this kind of my own challenge to read books uh, where there is a character named Marta or Martha. So I read seven books and one of them was one of the best books and uh, I ever read and uh, one of them was one of the worst books that I have ever read. So um, I will do a quick sum up of everything. So the first one was A Choice of Gods by Clifford Simak and um, I found this book a few months ago and I found that uh, the character is Marta. Martha and I decided okay I wanted to read it and it's quite interesting so it's about the world where people are able to travel to the uh, stars and uh, there are robots who are helping the uh, those people who stayed and uh, yeah it's kind of kind of waiting if people will return from the stars or not and if it's safe etc so it's really interesting uh, the character of Martha was as for me it was not so good developed so uh but yeah it was more about the book not about her in this case uh the next one was uh, Jules Verne a journey to the center of the earth so um I decided to read this book because I also take part in the calendar calendar challenge for this year and one of the uh, uh, points uh, how to pick one of the objectives how to pick a book uh, is that it should start with the same letter as the month so January journey uh, and I was so so much surprised that uh, on the second or the third page I saw that there was also one one Martha in that book of course it was a really really uh, small character and it was hard to some kind somewhat uh, somehow uh, analyze her but uh, the book was really nice I like this um, books of Jules Verne he makes this travels uh, this traveling so different yes from real traveling that I have experienced and maybe most of us have experienced and they are so adventurous and uh, yeah this this is something exciting. I, I, I'm sure I would never, even if it would be possible, uh, make a journey to the center of the earth. I would prefer to go up and to, um, to the stars, as in the previous uh, book, uh, not to the uh, center of the earth. But it was nice to do this uh, together with the characters. The next were uh, two uh, short stories by U Ukrainian writers. So one of them was Usman Ima and Marta by Oles Honchar and uh, I was a little bit disappointed because it started so well uh, he described perfectly the characters uh, their feelings and uh, their expectations and the ending was abrupt and I don't like uh, open endings I always like to know what definitely happened and uh, yeah, so it was a little bit hard for me. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed. But then I read Olha Kobelanska. Uh, the story's name is uh, Vals Melancholik. Uh, it's a story about three women uh, who are studying and they are into um, like creative arts. Yes, yeah, so one of them is painter, the other one is writer, and the third one uh, is musician. And they live together, like they rent the same apartment. and. Uh, this book showed me how really fragile these creative souls can be and uh, the, the ending was also very unexpected it was closed so I really liked it but um, it was not the happy ending so I think it depends how you look on that but um, yes this was a great story about uh, creative souls and I also liked this Marta character finally it was the main character of the book she was the narrator and um, I really liked some descriptions of her and uh, uh, of her character and yeah I, I really like to 
compare myself to her or to other characters that I like. And I thought, uh, yeah, I will not tell you exactly what features are those. So yeah, no one can judge it uh, because it's only my opinion and I'm kind of glad I found some similarities. Uh, then I started also uh, Chronicles of Narnia series because it was in the group everything everyone has read that but me and uh yes uh, the it was the lion the witch and the wardrobe and i know that it was the first book um published but chronologically and there is also the book the magician's nephew so i decided to start with that one because it's a small one so i decided okay i can just put it um just squeeze it into my uh schedule reading schedule so i did it and uh, I read both of them and I must say that uh, I really, I should have read it like 15 years ago or so because it's amazing for, for younger people. For me it was a bit too easy uh, but I think that it's, um, uh, it's a great tale and uh, I really want to continue this series just for the moment when I want to read something easier, something not so complicated in, in terms of language and in terms of uh, plot. So, yeah, I quite, quite enjoyed it. And two more final books. So, the, the first of them was by Eliza Orzeszkowska, and it's uh, called Marta. So, this was the great example of the writer who got the Nobel Prize. It was amazing. Uh, it showed how much women depended on men, uh, like till really recent times, yes, so if a woman didn't have a man, yes, a husband, who could take care of her, she really didn't have any st uh, any chance to, to survive in this life. And women did not get any education, so they got some knowledge, of course they were like educated, but it was not enough, so if they spoke French, they spoke it on the level just to um, put it a little bit into their language, yes, if they played piano they played only on the level to impress people in the parties if they draw or um, so they did it only to like spend their times not to do this professionally and as soon as they were losing this man this husband uh, that it was impossible for them to find jobs because first of all it was discrimination they had to be either like the most talented and the most experienced and the most skillful women um, otherwise, even the man with basic knowledge would get this job. And uh, this book uh, like showed this problem and it also described, like, it gave so much hope because every time you think, okay, this will be it, it, it will be it, like, you always expect the, the better. Yeah, uh, so I don't want to spoil the ending, but uh, it's really a hard book, like emotionally for me. I really needed like four days or five after that uh, to to start a new book because I could not come back to myself. I had the book hangover after this book. Mm, yeah, but it made me think a lot, and I also now re understand why women so still want to to marry someone and why it is important to marry someone who can mm, financially uh, support. Yes, the family, because we have this in our genes, yes, so uh, previously we could not survive without a uh, husband and his money, yes, so it's totally, totally natural for women to still want this. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is great, this is five stars, definitely. And then uh, it was, the, as I promised, the worst book of the month. And it was by Lorea Canales, Becoming Marta. Uh, so I have expected a lot from this book uh, because Becoming Marta, I thought it will be like some kind of development of the character. Uh, it kind of was. But first of all, what I didn't like about this book, uh, that there were a lot of uh, switching of timelines. So it was like reading in the shuffle and I don't I don't mind actually the switch of the timelines but in this case it was really hard sometimes to understand because she started the uh, uh, the chapters like uh, she did this she went uh, there she was like this and the whole um 
paragraph you read about she and you don't know if it is about Marta or about her friend or about her mother, her stepmother or someone else. So you don't know who is this she. And I read books on Kindle. So I have the pages really small because I zoom it on the maximum. So I could not just pick, okay, to the, to the bottom of the page and see that it's about Marta. Yeah. So it was a little bit uh, difficult. The same was sometimes it's like they. And I didn't know if they is uh, uh, her father uh, in, and his past or his friend or her friends now in this moment so it was a little bit difficult for me and i also did not find like the ending is great like motivational yes uh but this marta character she was like spoiled rich girl uh with no respect to anything and finally she thinks how to uh, she decides to change her life and i didn't see that moment why why she decided to do this yes because usually i expect that something happened i don't know some sickness or she a near death experience or whatever so you expect something to, to do so i i personally expect yeah so i didn't find it and uh, i was a, a lot disappointed there was a different character adriana whom i who i liked yes and she was interesting so i would prefer to read about her more Mm, so maybe this is an idea for the next book. Uh, what I liked about this book is the language, how it was written, because it is in translation from Spanish and Spanish language is of course obviously different from English. Uh, it has different um, melody, etc. And the translation was really great. So it was uh, really, oh, even though I didn't like the plot, uh, there was no plot of it, as for me. I didn't like the, the book. I liked the language, how it was written, how it was translated. So I enjoyed this part. Um, yes, and uh, that's it about uh, Marta and uh, my January month. Uh, so, yes, and uh, I'm already uh, through the February books uh, on my journey through the February TBR. And um, I hope to make a video about it uh, too. So, Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice time of, uh, of the day that you have. Bye-bye.